Reabni 10 mg per milliliter intravenous solution is an immunomodulator and bilymphocyte stimulator, BLIS, spec inhib. It is used to treat certain types of cancer such as non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and chronic lymphocytic leukemia. It works by slowing or stopping the growth of cancer cells. It can also be used to treat rheumatoid arthritis, decreasing joint pain and swelling, as well as certain types of blood vessel disease, reducing the swelling of the blood vessels. Reabni is also used to treat a certain skin condition called pemphigus vulgaris, helping to reduce the number of skin lesions. It is important to follow the prescribed dosage and take it at the optimal timing recommended by your healthcare provider. Before starting rituximab, make sure to read the medication guide provided by your pharmacist, and ask your doctor or pharmacist if you have any questions. Your doctor may also prescribe other medications, such as acetaminophen, an antihistamine, or methylprednisolone, to help reduce side effects like fever and chills. It's important to follow your doctor's instructions carefully. This medication is given by slow injection into a vein by a healthcare professional as directed by your doctor. The dosage and treatment schedule will depend on your medical condition, body size, and how you respond to the treatment. Make sure to follow your doctor's advice on the best time to take this medication. Some common side effects of Reabni 10 mg per milliliter intravenous solution may include nausea, vomiting, headache, dizziness, joint-slash-muscle pain, weakness, or flushing. If any of these effects persist or worsen, it's important to inform your doctor or pharmacist promptly. It's important to note that people using this medication may experience serious side effects. However, your doctor has prescribed this drug because they have determined that the benefits outweigh the risks. Your doctor will carefully monitor you to decrease your risk of serious side effects. If you experience any serious side effects, such as signs of stomach-slash-intestinal blockage, swelling of hands-slash-ankles-slash-feet, increased thirst-slash-urination, or numbness-slash-tingling of arms-slash-legs, it's crucial to contact your doctor right away. Rituximab may also cause side effects due to the rapid destruction of cancer cells, tumor lysis syndrome. To lower this risk, your doctor may prescribe additional medication and advise you to drink plenty of fluids. If you experience symptoms such as low back slash side pain, signs of kidney problems, or muscle spasms slash weakness, it's important to inform your doctor immediately. This medication can decrease blood cells, leading to potential complications such as anemia, decreased ability to fight infections, or easy bruising slash bleeding. If you develop symptoms such as easy bleeding slash bruising, black slash tarry stools, signs of an infection, unusual tiredness, or pale skin, it's crucial to contact your doctor right away. While a serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare, it's important to seek medical help immediately if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, including rash, itching slash swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so if you notice any other effects, it's important to contact your doctor or pharmacist. Serious side effects of Reabni may include severe breathing problems, heart problems, skin reactions such as Stevens-Johnson syndrome, and a rare but very serious brain infection. It may also increase the risk of liver disease in people with a current or past hepatitis B infection. Your doctor will closely monitor you during treatment and may stop or slow down your treatment if you have any signs of a reaction. Seek medical help immediately if you experience symptoms such as trouble breathing, itching, swelling, dizziness, chest pain, rash, blisters, peeling skin, sores, clumsiness, loss of coordination, weakness, changes in thinking, difficulty talking or walking, seizures, or vision changes. If you have a current or past hepatitis B infection, tell your doctor before starting this medication and seek medical help if you experience symptoms of liver disease. Before starting rituximab, make sure to let your doctor or pharmacist know if you have any allergies or if you are allergic to rituximab or any similar products. This medication may contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions, so it's important to discuss this with your healthcare professional. It's also important to inform your doctor about your medical history, especially if you have lung disease, heart problems, bleeding disorders, or if you have had recent infections. This will help your doctor determine if rituximab is the right medication for you. Rituximab can make you feel dizzy, and alcohol or marijuana can intensify this effect. It is important to avoid driving or operating machinery until you are sure you can do so safely. 
Also, limit your alcohol intake and talk to your doctor if you are using marijuana. Before undergoing any surgery, make sure to inform your doctor or dentist about all the medications you are currently using, including prescription drugs, over-the-counter drugs, and herbal products. This medication may increase your risk of getting infections or worsen current infections. It's important to stay away from anyone who has a contagious infection, such as chickenpox, COVID-19, measles, or the flu. If you have been exposed to an infection, it's important to talk to your doctor for further guidance. Inform your healthcare professional that you are taking rituximab before receiving any immunizations or vaccinations. It's also important to avoid contact with individuals who have recently received live vaccines, such as the flu vaccine administered through the nose. To reduce the risk of injury, be cautious when handling sharp objects and avoid participating in contact sports or activities that may lead to cuts or bruises. Older adults may be at a higher risk for heart problems or lung problems while using this medication. If you are pregnant or planning to become pregnant, it's important to discuss this with your doctor, as rituximab may harm an unborn baby. Your doctor may order a pregnancy test before starting this medication and may recommend reliable forms of birth control while using rituximab and for up to one year after the last dose. If you become pregnant, it's important to speak with your doctor about the potential risks and benefits of continuing this medication. Since this drug can pass into breast milk, it is not recommended to breastfeed while using rituximab and for at least six months after the treatment. It's important to consult your doctor before making any decisions regarding breastfeeding while using this medication. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions that could affect how your medications work or increase your risk of serious side effects. Make sure to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist, including prescription and non-prescription drugs, as well as herbal products. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Some products that may interact with Reabni 10 mg per milliliter intravenous solution immunomodulator, B-lymphocyte stimulator, BLIS, SPEC inhibitor, other drugs that weaken the immune system or increase the risk of infection, such as tofacitinib, natalizumab, and fingolimod. Be sure to discuss any potential interactions with your healthcare provider. If someone has taken too much Reabni and is experiencing severe symptoms such as fainting or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help by calling 911 or a poison control center. In the U.S., residents can contact their local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, while Canadian residents can reach out to a provincial poison control center. Before starting and while using Reabni 10 mg per milliliter intravenous solution, it is important to undergo lab and medical tests, such as complete blood count, hepatitis B virus, and kidney-slash-liver function tests. It is vital to keep all medical and lab appointments. Be sure to take each dose of this medication as directed. If you happen to miss a dose, consult your doctor or pharmacist immediately to establish a new dosing schedule. This medication is not for home use and will be administered in a hospital, clinic, or doctor's office. It should not be disposed of by flushing down the toilet or pouring into a drain. When expired or no longer needed, it should be properly discarded following consultation with a pharmacist or local waste disposal company. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the U.S., you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.